Oh my gosh! Ugh! Jeez Louise! Oh! Dread! Ugh! Oh gosh! Oh! <laughs> Oh gosh, oh gosh. <laughs> How mad do you think it'll be? What's up? Yo, you're gonna be mad. Why? What is going on you guys? Welcome back to Burley Fishing. I got a special two part episode here for you guys where we took, Paul and I, took the Monster Bass box, the MTB box, and a Six Sense box from a future unboxing that has yet to be unboxed out on the water for a little on water review and slam. This is what I'm calling the mega slam. Three boxes, one lake, two days camping, two dudes trying to kill each other, having a good time and catching tons and tons of fish. I think you guys are gonna like this episode. I wanted to give you sort of a little in the office, this is obviously after the fact, a little in the office uh, intro here just because you know I wasn't sure what this video was going to become over the over the weekend so I didn't really get a good on the water intro so we fished every single bait in all three of those boxes and you're gonna have to find out if we catch fish on every single one of them will it be a complete slam I don't know stay tuned for that also if this is your first time dropping by the channel or you've been watching you know sit in the corner going like ah, I don't know I don't know if I want to commit to this channel or not please consider subscribing to the channel. We do giveaways every single month. I give away as much as I possibly can because I love you guys, I love the community, and I think it's a lot of fun. I have as much fun giving you guys the stuff as maybe the winners do getting that stuff. Uh, so stay tuned because tomorrow, you guys are gonna see part two of this video because there's too many catches for one video. Uh, and then on Friday, you're gonna see the monthly giveaway. You got 10 days to win this one, Busby Fishing is involved. You guys can win your own brand new Busby Colony 15 box filled with baits from this month's unboxings. And Burley Fishing hat, shirt, and sticker coming along with that as well. I ship it right to you. You don't gotta worry about anything except opening that box and then wearing that stuff and going out and catching fish and having a good time because that's what I want for you, all right? So without further ado, let me kick you guys out on the water. You're gonna see how we do this first day. There was some really good stuff going down. And then tomorrow, you'll get part two and the shenanigans that came along after uh, about 24 hours plus of fishing. Here we go. First day back on the water here. The secret juice. We got geese going crazy. Jet ski Jimmy over here doing freaking loops. Wind blowing out like five knots. You know, it's, 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 it's gonna be a good day. Waiting on Paul, I decided to roll up to camp early, set up the tent, laid my boy a cot, hooked him up, because there's no trees to hang your hammocks from, because I'm a good friend. Now, when he gets here, I will have caught a dozen or so fish, so I can rub that in his face, which I'm also okay with. Uh, but <laughs> he should be up here in about three hours. Wind's blowing that way, going up to shallow water here, so I think they're pushed up. And extra added bonus, guys. We are slamming three boxes in a row. By the way, I'm also rolling a new jackhammer. Pretty pumped to try this bad boy out. And I uh, actually threw the Big Bite Baits BB kicker on it. Yo, bass, oh my God. Bass followed that all the way up to the boat. I watched him hit it. Hit it and quit it. See if we can get our first fish here, guys. This, these BB kickers float so hard. First cast bass. Came up and sniffed her. Sniffed her. All right. This is going to be hot. Go a little brighter. So we got a little chartreuse lateral line here on this one. All right. And we're just going to bury that hook a little bit. Looks like that. I think this thing will be the juice. Let's try this all again, eh? Just covering this like two, three foot water column area. I gotta work this puppy slow. I think it's just with, like, with how big that paddle tail is, it just like kicks it to the surface. Saw some splashes back there. Get up, get up, get up. Drag slipped. We might not have him very good. Uh, 
Let us. <laughs> Let us all enjoy this fish. We got one. Little bitty guy. Little bitty dude, but he's looking cool. Yeah, buddy. All right, thanks, bud. Hey, one bait down, and guess what? She gone. <laughs> These geese are pissed. Uh, we'll just call that one dead. Did I get any other paddle tails in these other boxes? Yes, I did. Hang on. Because check it out, bruise. <laughs> We're fishing all this crap. Here we go. This is going to be money. All right, so next up, we have the Six Cents Divine Swim Bait. I'm going to try and like, get a flow going with these things. Hopefully, this isn't too big. Nah, it'll work. If it doesn't, it's going to be a great trailer on that chatterbait. So let's try it on this first. Got some jet ski jimmies, some sand dune sallies. We got everybody's going nuts on their motorized vehicles this week. Making it kind of fun to be on the water. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, wake bait. Wake bait. Next up, six cents. Movement 80. It's a waking bait. And holy crap. It goes, ah, I fouled up, really? First cast. Super fouled. Come on, guy. On oh, a spiral, dude. Oh, there it goes. Now it's moving. Oh, fish. Fish. Yes. <sighs> Got him. Got him. Got him. Got him. Huge, huge fish, huge fish. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, it's on his dang snooter. Hooked him in the snoot. Oh, baby. Woo. <laughs> on the fouled up. On the fouled up. Oh, dude, just girthy. Just a girthy girl. Scale's not working again, guys. Come on, dude, wake up. Broken scale, going live. We got a 2.6. We got a 2.64. Good enough for me. Let's get her back. She got both back. Oh, yeah. Look at her, dude. Look at that. So beautiful. Oh, yeah. Tanker. We got a tanker. Let's run this uh, flipless. Let's see how this guy performs. Yo, what? Uh, guys, <laughs> what? on actual earth, it's so small. I didn't even know that there was a fish on the line and he is hooked pretty good. Wow, littlest fish of the trip. Dinky dink, holy crap. <laughs> All right, well, three baits now. <laughs> What the hell? Definitely shallow. They're definitely, definitely shallow. Oh, dude, there's a ton of them right here. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's gone, guys. Bait lost. Hey, good thing we caught a fish on that. Rip. Wow. Oh, he still had it. Did you, he still had it. Oh my gosh. Oh my, no. Did he just shake it? Hang on. What a clown. He was on. I wonder if that slipped off through those D-rings, man. I don't like, the six cents D-rings are so big that braid kind of slips through them. Bass. Wow. <sighs> wow. Was it you that took my lipless, you little jerk? Four baits. <laughs> oh my goodness. A uh, new bait on there, huh? What do you guys think? He just did it again. He still got it. He still got it. Did you guys hear that? He still got it. Oh my gosh. 
I just want to help him at this point. Holy crap, where he's just hanging shallow. Hit this. Hit this, I will save you. I just heard the rattle again. Guys, he's still got the bait. Also, catching the same fish twice would be pretty epic. All right, so no dice finding the lipless. She gone. That fish, she also gone. Six cents, shaky worm. All right, guys, I'm gonna go flip this stuff around. Oh, that, that was a fish. Super sensitive bite, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Fish. Gotta be little, gotta be little. <laughs> just, just nicking the edges. Snapper right there. Hey. Where's my Freddy the Frog? Oh, big shadow right there. I just saw a giant shadow. No, back up, back up, back up. <sighs> yeah, dude. Six cents getting knocked out, dude. That's that shaky worm. Look how dark this one is. Oh my God, big belly, big belly. They are feeding up. They are feeding up. There's more in there. Let's get this guy back. Later, dude. Dude, they are feeding up. Oh my gosh. Dude, there is something big back there I just saw. Snapping turtle had me all distracted. There's some big snappers back in this pond. I would not swim in this stuff. Highly not recommended. Such a good sign for this weekend. I don't care how windy it is. So where are we at? We're at five baits down? Six fish, five baits, something like that? Later days, buddy. Thanks, pal. All right. So next up, going MTV. We're just kind of like switching box to box here on the fly, man. This is kind of fun. I like this a lot. All right, so we have <laughs> this guy. Uh, so, how are we gonna rig this? Come down through the middle, and then it should come up through this little weedless section here. And just kind of leave it like that, I think. And it looks weird as all heck. I'll just go heavy and flip in the cover. Are you? Only got three of those, so there goes one. <laughs> All right, next one gets rigged way heavier than that. It's lipless. Let's try this lipless. Dude, got hit. Got a hit. Come on, baby. Is this an MTB bait? I think it's an MTB. Run this along the edge. Living on the edge. Gosh. Gosh. You guys, I almost fell. I almost fell out of the boat. Dang, dude. Woo. Huh. <laughs> I was, uh, ow. Okay, we've got problems. We've got problems. We have problems. Okay, I was moving to the next spot and I just decided to throw a little bomb lipless cast. There you go. Got that one done. Holy cow. Holy cow. All right, booyah lipless time. What are we at? We gotta be at like seven, eight baits now. Holy cow, another, another purdy one. Another purdy one. Let's get him back. Thanks, pal. Wow, okay. Uh, all right, so as you guys can see, I'm fishing 15 feet of water, 14, 15 feet. 
And all I did there, found this baby out, let her go down a little bit, start retrieving. I was just doing a little vertical jigging with it. And he hit it like on one of the upticks. That was sick. Really wish I could be fishing my six inch lipless. Oh wait, it's still in a fish's mouth. Good grief. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. <laughs> okay, well we got that hook set, dude. Little guy hit it like a sledgehammer. Woof. Oh really? Like look, bottom. Bottom of the mouth, right where you want to hook them, you know? Best spot, if I could think of any good spots to hook a fish. Hey, a little largey. Oh, okay. All right, well, Booyah's dead. Booyah won. Good job, Mr. Lipless guy there. A little lipless guy doing. All right, what rod is that? Yeah, I'm gonna switch to, we're gonna crank. Switch to a crank. Let's go, let's get this thing done. While we're at it, a little castaic. This is a good cranking spot, really good cranking spot. Let's try and knock this out. There, there's the hump. That's where they're at. Okay. I got it, 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 I got it. Oh my gosh! Ugh. Jeez, Louise. Oh, <gasps> Uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, he wants to go under, he can't go under there dude, uh, dude, come on, come here, come here, dude, guys, guys, oh my god, oh my god, guys, oh, oh, he broke the hook, he broke the freaking hook. Oh my God. Oh my God. <laughs> this is the biggest fish I've caught on this lake. Hands down, no questions asked. Oh my gosh. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh you guys, are you freaking kidding me? Are you freaking kidding me? Please work. I hate you. Please work. It's not gonna work. All right, we're going old fashioned. We're going old fashioned. Look, this has a scale on it. Hang on. Ah. Okay. Okay. Yo. <gasps> what? Tell me what that says. Tell me what that says. Oh my gosh. That is, that's five. That says five. That says, oh my gosh. Hang on. You're done. You're dead to me. I'm going with five. Look at this thing. One more time. Look at that. Putting some shade on it. Look at that line. Tell me that's not five. Tell me this is not a five pound fish. Holy shoot. All right, we got a measure. All right, stay. Yo. 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 That is pushing 21. I, ah, 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 I can't. You guys. Just look at this fish. Oh my gosh. Wow. Wow. I oh my gosh. I'm so happy right now. That is that is my PB. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. Be okay. You're so huge. You're such a oh my gosh. Ha! Huh. <laughs> I am so happy right now. I've fished this lake so many times. Biggest fish I've ever caught is like a 3-2 on this lake. And that fish, that fish was, I'm gonna say 4-5 because that is a manual scale I just had to use because my gosh, I'm gonna throw this in the trash. This thing is toast. I'll try replacing the batteries again. I don't know, I'm so pissed. So pissed that that didn't work. Check this out though. <laughs> Look at this crank. Look at that hook. Castaic. Thanks for the fish. One. 
but can you please, please, can you please fix your dang hooks? These are the cheapest damn hooks. Now that was a, that was a big fish. I told you guys when I unboxed this, I was like, these hooks suck. I'm so happy I didn't lose that fish. Then I would've been real pissed. <sighs> Paul's gonna be so pissed. <laughs> Look at this hook. Oh my God. Wow on that little castaic crank. Look at, look at the teeth marks in this thing. Can you guys see that? Yo, just wrecked this lip. All right, well, this, this puppy's done. I might replace it with actual trebles that aren't garbage. Um, thank, thanks for the fish. I, I, you gotta give thanks where thanks is due, man. You guys ready for this? Let's call Paul right now. Here we go. Let's see, he's, I bet he's like five minutes away. How mad do you think he'll be? What's up? Yo. You're gonna be mad. Why? I just caught a five pounder. Oh no! I am not even joking. I like, I, I had my, uh, my lippers have like a manual scale. My digital, yeah. my digital scale's dead. No! A and uh, I weighed it on the manual and it was pushing towards six. Shut the front door. It, yeah. it, bent, it bent the hooks. Yeah. Oh my God. Oh my God, oh my God. Dude, I like, I don't even know how to feel right now. <laughs> Dude, that is full. <laughs> how long was it? Uh, it was 21 and it was, uh, was it? Yeah, it was 21. 21, oh 21 incher. Are you like shaking right now? Yes. I'll be over here just uh, sipping my ties. <laughs> oh, dude, I would be a whole. <laughs> Dude, uh, grab a couple beers out of my Yeti and bring them with you. <laughs> okay. All right, bring the party. All right, dude, see you in a bit. Later. Later. He brought up a valid point. Something I'm gonna try right now is we're gonna switch this to a jerk bait. I'm gonna fish this little uh, jerk bait here, the Bait Lab jerk bait. Came in the Monster Bass box. Uh, I'm gonna stick to this little section we just caught the giant on. And if he's there, there's probably a couple, a couple little dudes willing to bite a little jerk bait. I'm willing to bet. So let's see if we can knock this bait out. Oh, all shaky still. Yeah, it doesn't, doesn't like move too, too much, I don't think. Let's get back up here a little bit. <laughs> Jerk bait done. <laughs> little dude, little dude, little dude, little dude, calm down. Oh gosh, you're gonna, you're gonna be a pain, aren't you? You're gonna be a pain in my finger. These are always the ones that, oh, they, yep, exactly. These are the ones that put hooks through you. It's always the little dudes. All right, there we go. Little guy, little jerk. <laughs> Another bait done and another bait done. Paul is back. <laughs> Here's uh, three of these little dudes. Okay. So I need that. On the drop. You want to pick a top water of choice? I don't even have to do this on the drop. I'm going to wait till the right spot and I'm going to do this. Uh, oh, yeah, for sure. So I'm, we're going to figure this out. Uh, hula popper. Let's both try and get this thing done when we get back there. Okay. And then we can like trade off hula popper and this guy. This guy's fine. Like it, it's definitely one you like the or the one you like the most. I'll take the least. <laughs> Which is probably like your favorite of the two, anyways. Oh. <laughs> Nailed it. Oh Jesus Christ! <laughs> Skip. I just got sideswipe. Call the police. <laughs> Just a little kiss. Give it a little kiss. Probably got 45 minutes of daylight left. <laughs> we're, we're just gonna go for it. Might as well just send it. Uh, semi full send at least. And I have a feeling they're like way up shallow. Oh, had him. Had a hit. Totally freaking blew that. Wow, big old bite on a slack line. 
drag is on, but the line was super slack. They're in here. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm just trying to hit these sticks. I'm kind of trying to be mindful of the depth because I don't know this lake very well. So I'm trying to figure out how deep I should be casting and how deep I should be retrieving here. I'm also working this hula popper like a lot slower and a lot less aggressively because this water is like super flat. So where normally I'd be gurgling this thing like crazy, I'm just not. <laughs> I'm trying to kind of walk it like a walking bait, even though it's not really built for that. I'm definitely minimizing the, I'm minimizing the gurgle here. Got one. Oh, I lost him. Dude. Crop, you're blowing up on it. You know what that means. Probably good bait. Just gotta get the right, gotta get in the right spot. Got one. Got one. Here we go. Nice fish. Hey, Jeff. Chunk. Got him. <laughs> Double them up. Hula popper. Not bad. Not bad at all. So that knocks the hula popper out. So these are the Eagle Claw. I think these are half fought EWGs. Came in the monster or the mystery tackle box. We're doing too many bo freaking boxes today. White or dark blue? Jeff says dark blue. Cheapest thing that I can get. See, bye bye. Going to the pile. Oh no! So now I'm gonna screw this into the back here. So let me do this. No weight. I'm going weight weight less. Now I might add something later if it's not really doing what I want it to do. But I think we have to kind of wait and see. So I'm starting weightless, because I'm going in pretty trim water. Weightless, weedless. I'm gonna work some the sun gun slow. Got him. Dude, called it. Freaking called it. Yo! Just called it. The hook. Stuck his ass. Dude, I stuck it. What's up? Calling shots. Damn, he got it good too. Bite me off on the last one. Come on, baby. Once you're in, you're in. There you go. I'm gonna be flipping this heavy cover section here in a minute. Ooh! <laughs> I just pooped my pants. Hypo twist. I'm throwing it up way shallow. It is not, it is weed full, not weed free. But holy cow, that was a freaking snap. I just got bit off. Clean, clean bite. On a snow mat. Flipping hook, clean bite. Cool, bro. How deep are you? Neat. Four feet. It's like a foot. I can't see it. The, the craw. Oh, you need to do one? I mean, rig one up, man. That's what I was going for, and then I was going to throw this jig next. Right, you get the vibrations. Okay. Yeah, the jig's gone. Jig is dead. It's like a subtle hit and then it's just gone. Like some toothy ass critters are out right now. Watch him bite this clean in half. <laughs> like I deserve. Superman I deserve everything that happens to me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah.
They're just super bad. Just, it's one bass. It's one bass. It's, it's like, freaking Jaws. Like, <laughs> oh, man. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this first part. I know I sure did. Got myself a PB. I know I sure as heck am going to go buy a better electronic scale that's actually accurate. Maybe a tournament grade one. I'll spend the money. Sorry that that had a manual scale. Call that fish whatever weight you want, but I really want it to be a five. So whatever. You guys can say what you want in the comments. I'm happy with that fish. It was a great catch. I know Paul had some great catches too. We had a ton of fun on this lake. So again, this is just part one. There are many more catches to go. Many more uh, ridiculous moments to happen. Just wait till you see them unfold. But if you guys enjoyed the video, if you enjoy content like this, be sure to subscribe to the channel, smash that like button on this video, ring that notification bell so you can see when we post more stuff. And we will see you for part two tomorrow. Thanks for watching, guys. See you on the water.